Yo, yo, yo. What's up, my people? Donnie Chocolate here, the barbershop professor, back with another lesson. Today, class is about Joe Biden. He announced his presidency. What does that mean? Is he that good? If I don't vote for him, am I black? Let's talk about it. All right. So Joe Biden has announced his presidency, right? Or his re-election, let's say. Uh, or no, his, yeah, he's, he's, he's announced his campaign for re-election to be voted into office 2024, okay? Well, let's forget that he is 137 years old. That's fine, okay? Or is it? Anyway, <laughs> that's not here what I'm really talk, here to talk about his age in particular, right? It's not something that that I think should be a specific focus on him. I think we need to get us a bird's eye view and start thinking about how old are people in politics in general, why that is, how long they served, right? So when you look at something like the Senate and uh, the House of Representatives, they do have term limits, right? House of Representatives, you got two years. Senate, you have six years. But you can run until you die, essentially, right? These are some of the same people who have been in power for decades and decades and decades and decades. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You know why? Because they're still in office, and they still have a stranglehold on what how we move as a country, right? All, all kind of laws, all kind of... Um, um, same-sex marriage policies and different things like that, marijuana, cannabis legalization, right? You want to talk about um, uh, a new green deal uh, or a green society. You want to be more uh, earth conscious and stuff like that. And these things aren't changing. You wonder why, right? Well, the part of it is that the same people with the same ideas from 50 years ago are still in office. Something that you just got to take hold of. The other thing about Joe Biden running um, is that we got to recognize the presidency is about a system. It's not about a person. They're pushing Joe Biden. And I guess this is my theory, right? The status quo is pushing Joe Biden because Joe Biden is a person that can help them maintain power. Joe Biden doesn't have to make every decision. He doesn't have to really run the company. There's so many of the staff, there's departments, there's all these things happening and stuff like that. What Joe Biden can do is provide people access and provide people the opportunity to maintain their power, wealth, control. That's it. That's what's most important. And that's what you need to think about. Now, let's get into... Joe Biden for black people. Good, bad. You know what? It's not up to me to decide for you. You vote who you want to vote for or not. That's something that you can do. Um, <clears throat> but when it comes to Joe, Joe Biden specifically and black people, I know I remember his last campaign. He kind of really rubbed me the wrong way. You know, he was on Breakfast Club and, you know, he was talking about, you know, if if you're not. You're not black if you don't vote for Joe Biden. And it made me start to like back up like, whoa, 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 whoa. First off, sorry, white man, you ain't going to really challenge my blackness like that. One. Two, okay, well, let's start really digging into what you've done for black people. Mm. Now, we could really go in and, and say that, you know, we could start talking about all presidents and the U.S. as a whole, Right. But what I want to really talk about is that the fact that he's actually done a lot of harm to the African-American community, right? He was one of the per people who authored, authored the 95 crime bill. I'm, I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with that, but that's the three strikes you're out laws. That's, that law in itself decimated black families, decimated, took thousands of fathers out of the homes, right? totally just decimated us for generations right and had a generational impact right men 
women alike, all in prison, right? It's really important that you think about that. This is also the same person who eulogized a segregationist. Hmm. Okay, so this is the same person telling me that if I don't vote for him, I'm not black. I don't know what that was all about. But to be honest with you, I feel like there's a lot of policies that Joe Biden has been a part of that have hurt the black community way more than the policies he's done to help it. That's me personally. Again, that's not to say that he's better than anybody else or worse than anybody else. That's me speaking about Joe Biden. Right. And his impacts to the black community. All right. So that's something that you really want to think about um, when it comes to his candidacy. <clears throat> tell you all right now, vote third party. I don't know. Figure it out for yourself. What do you feel? Maybe it is better for maybe you feel it's better to vote for him because of the power. He's the lesser of two evils. Maybe so. Maybe you don't want to vote for him. Maybe you want to withhold your vote because you don't feel like candidates are actually really speaking to your policies and taking action once they get elected. That's something, too. It's not on me to tell you to vote. Um, and I guess we could talk about voting probably here later, especially in the black community and African-American community. Um, we can talk about the voting and voting legacy. At the same time, I want you to be informed. I want you to have some discernment. I want you to actually look into like the real facts. Let's not look into these commercials that look good. Let's not look into these pictures that we see, these slogans. Let's not think about who endorses them all the time, right? Sometimes that can help, right? But just because Bernie endorsed him don't mean he's still not. Just because Bernie endorsed Biden doesn't mean that he, that Joe Biden is not the same Joe Biden. Right. We got to step away from our the the. I'll say the the mass media influences, what you see on the news, the smiles, the kissing the babies, all those things. Start voting policy and start doing your best to vote for people who are actually going to act on that policy desires on your or, or on any policy desires. Right. After they get elected. Right. Look at who is in the pockets of these people. Look at who's paying. Who's who is paying Joe Biden? Who's funding his campaign? Right. All of these things are important. Who's funding the Democratic National Democratic National Conve uh, Committee? Right. Um, who. Let's start looking at these things. These are things that we need to just figure out and. And these are things that you should be informed by when it comes to who you vote for. And all else, if anything else, please realize this. Joe Biden is not your savior. He's not. But you know what? I can tell you no president. I don't care what skin color they are or what they look like are not going to be your saviors. OK, um, we got to do our best to build our communities, do for self. And keep making an impact on who you can impact is most important. Anyway, hope you got something from this. This is Donnie Chocolate here coming live back at you. The Barbershop Professor. Class is closed.